In this video, I want to walk you through how you can use Microsoft Forms to give your students practice with the uh, social studies new question type match table grid. So here's an example I've made for the reasons for immigration, where we have prompts here on the left and then on the, in the rows and then across the top, we have the different uh, immigrants or they could choose both. Students can see the point value for the question and they also have subtitle here, select the correct answer in each row. So I'm just going to randomly choose some answers and click submit. The students get the answer. Your quiz will be graded. Please come back later to check your score. Uh, because the Likert, the Likert scale question requires your grading, you as the teacher will come to your quiz that you've made You'll see all of your responses here in the upper right corner. You can review answers. And if you if you're Microsoft District or your kids already have an account, you would see the student's name here. You can check, give a score, two points. You can write some feedback here at the bottom and then go on to the next one that you need to review. This is one point give some feedback, hit the back button, and you can post the scores when you're ready. So how was this question created? Let's go behind the scenes to the questions tab. I'm going to add a new one. And from the drop down menu here, I'll choose a Likert. A Likert is used to gauge attitudes and opinions about a topic. And because um, typically, there's no right or wrong answer for that. That's why you have to go in and grade it yourself. So all I did was copy and paste the prompt up here. Here, select the question, select the correct answer in each row. Do your immigrant groups here in the columns. And delete what you don't need. Trash can, trash can. All right, add your point value, make it required, and that's it to preview it. Select this button here. And that's how you use the Likert scale question type in Microsoft Forms to replicate the match table grid for the Social Studies EOC. Thanks for watching.